Chris Hewitt just said uh, he thinks he's going to be a Pro Bowl type player this year. Just, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, that's the goal. Ultimately, Pro Bowl, Super Bowl, all that. Um, I think top to bottom, or if not the deepest team in the NFL, offense, defense, special teams, all that. And I feel like everybody on the field is like I'm at like a Pro Bowl practice every day. You just look around, it's just guys everywhere. But um, I mean, yeah, I have high expectations for myself, for the team. I feel like Marcus and Marcus and Marlon are pretty decent trippers when it comes to the big play. What, what does their energy and their vocalness kind of bring out in you and in the defense at large when you kind of hear them speak out that big play? Yeah, I mean, for the offense, I can understand how it'd be annoying to uh, hear them all the time because they both have very distinct voices and talk nonstop. But for us, it gets us going. I mean, when we have days where you know, it's dog days at camp and guys are feeling a little sluggish. Uh, those are two of the um, many guys that get us going. And, uh, one big play, just big energy guys. Uh, guys like Roquan, PQ, um, Dog, Matt BK, everybody. It's, it's contagious on the defense. And, um, it's pretty easy to find odd men out. Who do you enjoy covering the most? Like, who gets your juices flowing when you see them across, across the Um, I mean, everybody on that side. Um, I mean, it's easy answer Mark. I mean, he's one of the best, if not the best, position in the league. And I see why on a day to day basis. Um, but even guys like Zay, like getting able to tackle Zay in the open field or um, just be in position, there's not a lot of guys in the league who can stop and start like he can. So it helps us in the secondary come out and tackle. Uh, like Isaiah Likely is another tight end who offers things that are completely different to Mark and some change up. And, and then the receivers like Dude, um, super fast. Odell just got full tag with everything. So you get everything that you could possibly look for in an offense um, on our side of the ball every day. So I think we're being prepared for the well. Kyle, having gone through one NFL season now, what do you know about preparing for this year that you did not know last year? Um, it's, the season's long. It's a long year. Um, and whoever's in their stride later in the season is who's going to ultimately come out on top. Um, it's easy to go through ebbs and flows throughout the season. And, uh, going a two-game win streak and then a two-game losing streak. And, um, it's kind of the story of your season, and depending on how you bounce back from losses or how you build on wins. Uh, it's going to determine how you end up in February. So hopefully we can be the strongest team and beat uh, uh, next, early next year. We'll use you and Mark Williams interchangeably at times. In fact, he'll be up at the lines and he'll be up at the line. How does that flexibility help you as a defense and, and affect your preparation? Yeah, I think it helps because I think we both offer a lot of things that uh, we both do pretty well, whether that be playing in the post, playing range, or being able to come down and hit. Um, I don't think there's necessarily like a free or strong safety when it comes to us. I think we're both pretty interchangeable, interchangeable when it comes to that. So kind of keep the quarterback on his toes because he doesn't know who's going to be playing what, um, who's going to be blitzing, who's going to be covering, all that kind of stuff. So I think it helps to have that um, kind of dynamic feel to our room. And, I think from top to bottom, maybe like Daryl Worley and Geno Stone, um, guys like that. You know, our Darius Washington, everybody's pretty versatile in our room. Our DB coaches always preach, you know, we should be able to play every position in secondary. So I think we kind of love that. Kyle, Isaiah, like it was pretty good training camp last year. It seems like he's picked up his game. What do you think, you know, where do you think he's in the Who is it? Isaiah Likely. Oh, um, I mean, Zay, coming in last year, he just kind of, even from rookie minicamp, he just kind of looked different. Um, everybody else is being out on the field, the way he moves, at his size. Uh, but from last year to this year, I can just tell his confidence uh, has gone up a lot. I mean, he proved himself last year that he could produce in this league. And, um, the offense is getting him more looks and stuff like that, more touches, deservedly so. So uh, hopefully he'll be able to make that into a big opportunity for himself. And I'm pretty sure they will. you feel the same way, That your confidence here, too? Yeah, I mean... Uh, 2020, what year is it? 2023? 2023 Kyle and 2022 Kyle at this time I feel like are two completely different people just mentally. Um, I'm making a lot of checks, a lot of calls back there. And, uh, it's kind of cool like having guys like Roquan and Patrick uh, looking for me uh, for checks and stuff like that and being able to give each other confidently. Um, that's a big difference from last year and I feel like that was the biggest step that I've taken. Um, not even physically, just mentally being able to lead out there um, and calls and checks and stuff like that. How does it feel playing a little bit more center field now? Being able to get that wider look, you able to show, you know, you have an interception in the first practice. 
and being able to be more of a playmaker, not so close to the line. Yeah, I think um, being in that role I was last year, like being a nickel, I think it helps now because now we have that uh, car in our back pocket to play it. Um, but right now, like we said, I've been playing safety. And, uh, it's helped me a lot just being able to play this position at this level. And like I said, playing against these guys every day, it doesn't get much better than this. And, um, I think I've been prepared very well for this season.